All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Pharaoh, which is going to be the reward tank for this year's Halloween event. Now, normally with Halloween events, as in the past, we have had some of the most OP tanks in the game. Stuff like the Annihilator, um, other OP tanks like the Helsink, the Dracula, the Lycan's pretty OP as well. Uh, last year's, I would say, was not particularly OP. I really haven't played that tank much because it just, it didn't really seem that good to me. But it, normally, we have very, very strong tanks at the Halloween season. This year's looks to be pretty strong, in my opinion. This is a Tier 7 heavy tank of the Blitz Nation, just as normal. It's always a Tier 7 heavy tank, um, you know, of course, the Blitz Nation. And we'll run through the stats here. These are the stats uh, from Blitz... Uh, what's his name? Uh, Blitz Post. And, yeah, so 1,600 hit points right off the bat. Pretty good hit points for a tier 7 heavy tank. Um, the armor here, I mean, we have this armor stats, but we don't have, like, stats in, like, Blitz Hanger. Oh, Blitz Hanger or anything uh, where we can actually, you know, dive deep into the armor and see the weak, weak spots and strong points. But it does say the turret is 195 millimeters, which is pretty strong, so it's going to have a pretty strong turret here. The sides of the turret are 80, the rear is 62, so decently strong sides as well. Rear, obviously, going to be pretty weak. On the whole, we have 126 millimeters millimeters of armor now that's not particularly good for a tier 7 i would say there is a possibility though we do it looks like have spaced armor so it might actually be better than that and we just it doesn't really reflect very well in the statistics because that's how they work on uh in game statistics don't really you know they're not really the most accurate so it's hard to tell for sure i'll have to wait until i can you know inspect the tank closer but then the sides of the tank 78 rear 38 and now moving over to the gun which is where stuff gets interesting here, 1,876 DPM. This tank has a magazine um, with an 18.98 second, so basically 19 second reload, 2.5 second intraclip, there are three shells in this magazine, and it has 185 AP penetration, 237 APCR, which isn't bad, and 64 HE. Um, the average damage is 250 on this. Uh, the uh, APCR average is 210 and the 330 for your HE. Aim time is 4.2 seconds and dispersion is 0.393, which is pretty bad. And you have 7 degrees of gun depression. So now breaking down, you know, the gun statistics on this tank, it looks like I can't remember kind of what the average tier 7 heavy tank's DPM is, but I think that's decent dpm for a clipper tank um it doesn't seem to be too horrible of dpm for a three shot auto reloader and now going to the clip of course we have 750 burst damage potential on this clip with those three shots in a matter of five seconds which is not bad at all for a tier 7 you'll be going against tier 6s with you know medium light tanks with only about 1000 hp so you're going to be able to bring those guys down to a one-shot for most tanks. And if you're using HE, you can definitely clip those guys out pretty easily, those lights and stuff. So I do think this will be a pretty strong tank on the battlefield, with uh, definitely with the gun. Turret armor seems pretty strong. The whole, I can't tell for sure. But this tank does seem pretty strong altogether. Um, I think that especially with the gun there. Um, looking at the maneuverability real quick, we have a 38 km an hour top speed, which isn't horrible for a heavy tank 25 average um, on as well so it's just got pretty average mobility but it is definitely a pretty big beefy tank so we'll see if ramming's pretty good on it or not um but yeah the main thing with this tank obviously is going to be that gun that uh beautiful 750 damage uh burst in five seconds pretty good penetration on here as well strong turret armor probably i would imagine with that space armor pretty strong whole armor as well and we'll see if it has any unique features to it or not like how we had last year with the titan so we will have to wait and see on that unfortunately the accuracy uh probably not the best on this tank here a almost four uh, almost a 0.4 dispersion at 100 meters here and 4.2 second aiming time isn't the best but uh, this is a heavy tank close range is what's going to be going on the most in this guy so it really isn't too important to have amazing accuracy on it but uh, the accuracy is definitely not incredibly strong. But yeah, that is the Pharaoh, and pretty excited for the Halloween event. We're getting very close. My favorite event of the year is the Halloween event. 
So we, um, well, getting pretty excited for it, and we'll see if we have any new game modes or not. I'm not sure if there um, are any. I've been kind of out of the loop recently, <laughs> so I'm not sure if there's been any leaks about game modes or not. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.